I'm Ms. Hoka. You're at Donahoe Elementary School, second grade, and we are going to have a math lesson today. Now, when we start math, we, we have to warm up our brains, right? We can't, yeah. do, we can't do math with cold brains, so let's get those brains warmed up for me. Hmm. You may give me a thumbs up at your chest when you know the answer. Camden, what is the answer? The answer is 22. If you would like to disagree or defend Camden's answer, you may raise your hand. Chloe, disagree or defend? Defend, why do you think it is also 22? You just know that in your head? All right. Oh, well, we don't use a calculator in this class because it does not make our brain bigger. Jariah. Oh, so you were able to put the tens together in your head and then add the ones together in your head? All right, next one. Get ready. Can I get a door? You Thumbs up when you got it. Yonatan, what are you thinking? Um, this, um, 21. 21. Raise your hand if you would like to disagree or defend. Thumbs up if you know the answer. Yonatan, what are you thinking? So Jonathan thinks it is 21 because he thinks that if that 9 were a 10, just like it was up there, that would be 22. And so 1 less is 21. If you would like to, uh, if you would like to disagree or defend, you may raise your hand. I'm interested to hear if somebody figured out the same answer using a different strategy. Kenzie. You agree? Why? So how did you regroup with this? So, okay. so, so we don't have, so we have to buy right there. Mm-hmm. And then we don't have those, we don't have much of those down there, so we can get it there. All right, so we, it's like a zero above the nine, there's no tens? Okay. And then the 12, the one can't go. So you added the tens together? for 110, and you added the ones together, but how many ones are there? There's nine and two, so that would be what? So that would be 11, which is an extra 10. What are we gonna do with that extra 10? What are you gonna do with it? Can we combine the tens? And then bring back the one? I love it, all right. Now that we have our brains warmed up, we have been struggling with regrouping with subtraction. <sighs> Y'all, it's hard. I'm Do a me too if you think it's hard. It's tricky. It's one of the hardest things you learn in second grade. So I'm thinking since it's so hard, we should give up. No. We should just use calculators for the rest of no. our lives. Perseverance. Perseverance? What does that mean? It means you push through. You push through. Okay, so you want to learn it even though it's hard? We're not yeah. gonna give up? Yeah. We're gonna make our brains bigger? Yeah. Yeah. All right, it might be house integrity day, but it, we always persevere. So, since we're not giving up, I suppose we can work on regrouping with subtraction. <laughs> However, even if we're not gonna give up, it is okay when we're struggling to go back some steps. Sometimes when you're struggling with something, going back to the beginning can help. So we're gonna play a game to get today to help us regroup with our base 10 blocks, all right? Okay. You have played this game before. I'm gonna put a spin on it. I'm gonna put a twist on it. And I'm not gonna tell you what the twist is. I'm gonna wait and surprise you and see what you do, okay? Are you excited? Yeah. No. no and yes? yes. Some of yes. you like surprises. Yes.
we are raced down from 100. So you are going to start at 100 with your 100 base 10 block. You're flat. And you are trying to get to nothing. It's like Miss Hoka on payday. She starts with a lot and ends up with nothing. So we are going to have all our extra blocks at the top. What do we call the top? A bank. A bank. The a bank. bank. So I have the yellow paper to mark your bank. Can you just take whatever you want out of the bank? No. no. That is a felony, friends. <laughs> you cannot take things from the bank unless you give something. So if we start with 100, I'm then going to roll a die. Ooh, I can do a magic roll die. It says two. I'm going to take away two. <sighs> Y'all, I have a flat, though. Should I, should I chew off two? No. no. Well, what am I going to do? Uh, Zakira, give it to me. Get the tens. Oh, I have to change, exchange Get it for tens? Yeah. Okay, but how many tens? Two. Two tens? All right. So I'm going to give 100 and take out two tens. And then how many do I have? I have 20, right? 10, 20. I think the bank kind of robbed me there. I think I gave the bank some extra there. Kazai, how many tens should I have? You have to, you have to the tens, you get Oh, eventually, but I just gave the bank a hundred and got twenty back. I feel like I've been scammed a little bit. What do you think, Maide? Get, um, you traded that hundred for ten tens. I can trade in a hundred for ten tens? And what, what is ten tens equal? Oh, so now I have the same amount, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I have not given the bank anything. I've just changed it, right? So now I can take away two, right? I'm going to take away two. Two. Okay, I took away two. No. Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs down if you disagree. Look here, why are you I took away two. No, because you have to exchange it with the one and then take away one. I didn't take away two. I took away two tens. That's 20. You're right. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm so glad you're on top of things. All right, so I can trade in a 10 and take out 10 ones now, right? Yeah, I said yeah. that. You did say that at the beginning, but you skipped some steps. I could trade the 100 in for 100 ones, but I don't have 100 ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finally, can I give the bank two? Yes. yes. Finally. Whew, thank goodness. All right, and then I continue. I understand we played this for the first time weeks ago, and I let you just play it by yourself, and so you didn't take turns. You just did it over and over again. Now we are taking turns. So you roll one time, and then your partner rolls one time. We are going to show accountability, not only by making sure we're doing the right thing, but we're going to show some generosity by showing that we can keep our friends doing the right thing. Your partner is like, you're like their teacher a little bit. You are keeping an eye on them. You are making sure they're doing the right thing, OK? That is accountability and generosity combined. Yes? No, I picked your partners. All right. When I give you your pieces, you're going to go and get straight to work. I'm going to put on a timer, and after a few minutes, when the timer goes off, you are going to freeze. And that's when I'm going to put the twist in. Okay? Okay. Mm. Let me have Haiti and Camden. Why don't you go work near Camden's desk? So I'm going to set up. Let me have Zakira and Chloe. Please sit. Please sit. Thank you. Two desks next to each other. Let me have Yonatan Maide. Who is your partner? Let's go over here then. You can stay here. Who is your partner? You can work over here. You can be across. 
go to Pedro. I don't know how to go to You're going to need it. Who's your partner? Camden. You're kind of far away from Camden. Can I help you fix that problem? I'm a real Chloe. So what are you going to start with? I just start with guys hit. Right, we're going to start with the hundred. And then you trade in your hundred. For how ten. many tens? Uh, for Let's count by tens. Ten. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. How many do you have now? So you have not changed the number, correct? Yes. But I still can't take away one. What do I have to do now? Mm -hmm. How many ones? Oh. You're like an expert. Now it's easy peasy, right? And I have to take away one and then two turn. Alright, excellent work. All right, who's going now? So I can't All right. take away the one. You can go ahead and take out your pen. Yeah, your hand. Take one ten away. Five. Ooh, what are you going to do? Where's your hundred? So it looks like it's in the bank. So if you're using it, it's not in the bank. I have to take this ten ones. This is yours. Ten ones from that bank. Can I take ten ones? Mm -hmm. ten ones. I traded it. How do you still have your hundred? Did you rob a bank? No. And you gotta put that in the bank? <laughs> All right, there we go. Sorry. Are you just ready? So are these your tens or are these tens? How did you all wind up with 30 already? Because I gave Okay, but you traded the 100 for 10 tens, right? So no. how, old are you, how are you already down to 30? I already had, I traded the 10. Well, let's start again. So we have 100. And you're trading it in and you're taking out 100 in 10. Let me see it. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now you still have 100. Now you can trade in one 10 for 10 ones. That's why I wondered why, where all your 10s have gone. Here you go. Ooh, and how many did you roll? Four. Four. Oh, okay. Now you can give away four. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How many do you have now? What's your number? And you have some tens. So how many tens do you have? Nine. 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 So what's your number all together? Nine. 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 All right, KJ. Thank you for being so patient. Ooh. Let's see. Do you have to be accountable for him too. Let's see if he knows what he's doing. If you need more ones, I've got extra ones over there. You can get as many as you need. I wonder what the twist is going to be. Are you paying attention to Mateo and making sure he's doing it right? I always go down to Oh, well, Mateo can help you probably. Oh, you're with Hope. I apologize. So, whose turn is it? Oh, it's still yours? How do you only have two tens? How did that happen? So let's start again. You tr what did you roll? You rolled a three and you traded in one hundred. And did you take out one hundred in tens? Oh, you let 
the bank rob you? It's like opposite day. Okay. Oh, quickly take out 10 tenths. All right. Twist time. You have a marker in your bag. Go ahead and write the number of how many you currently have, not in the bank. How many do you have? You know what? You know where to find markers. You know where to find markers. No. Oh, yes. You can write on your desk. Oh, if you are having trouble with something. No. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you take it first? All right, let's just stick with this for now. Head, shoulders, knees, head, hips, eyes on me. Next to your number, I want you to either write odd or even. Is your number odd or even? If you do not know, raise your hand and let me help you, please. You don't have to raise your hand. You knew. Dee Dee. O D D. Do you agree or disagree? Ninety-four rounds down to ninety. I said ninety-one. Oh, ninety-one, ninety-one rounds down to ninety. Agree or disagree? Agree. Why? It's one. Oh, it's only one away from ninety. How many would you have to add to it to make it one hundred? Oh, so these are 10. Nine. Oh, you're right. Nine is way more than one, right? It would round down to 90. I agree. I, what number did you have, Bowen? You had 94? Yeah. It rounds down to 90. All right. Y'all are on top of things. You can continue the game. Good job. Keep it up. <laughs> How many ones do you have? Take nine. So you would have to take away all six ones. So I agree that four away from 100 is close. I agree. You're right. All right, you can continue the game. Good job. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your patience. You don't know how to round? Did you ask KJ for any help? All right, so if you have 86, how many would you have to add to make that 90? So if you have 6, how many do you need to add to make it 10? 6, 7, 8, 9. So to make it 90, you would have to add 4. To make it 80, how many would you have to take away? How many ones do you have? 52. So you have to take away all six ones to make it 80. So is, is it closer to add four or take away six? One I think it, it's a smaller change to add four, right? Because four is less than six. So you would only have four hops to 90, but six hops to eight. So which one is it closer to? Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. God, God opens! opens.